So it's been a little over two days since I put out the Golden Go and Iron Hands guide for soloing raids, and since then I have played a lot of terror raids. And playing in a bunch of these, you manage to pick up on some things that are pretty useful, so I'm gonna share them with you guys today. No bullshit, let's get into it. Now on the Golden Go guide, there is some things that I forgot to mention, and that is the certain AI that actually inflicts status. And even if you're not using Golden Go, these are very nice to have on your team, due to the fact that they just always inflict status moves no matter what, so I'm gonna list them on the screen here. There is three other Pokemon that do inflict, and that is Weavile, Arcanine, and Fat Fuck Belly Bolt. But the reason I didn't really want to include them is because they do it through moves like Flamethrower and Discharge, so not 100% status, but they do it most of the time. If you don't end up getting one of these Pokemon on your team, you can always go back and go back into the raid or try restarting your game. If that doesn't work, well, well you, you, you're fucked, bad. Now on to the most annoying thing about these goddamn raids the debuffs and nullifies. So something I noticed about the first cleanse of the boss, which I'm referring to is like when it gets rid of its negative effects, is that it doesn't happen on a turn-based timer, but rather a timer-based timer. If that, if, what the fuck am I talking about? What I'm trying to say is that right here with this area within the timer on screen, it will cleanse. Now with some Pokemon, it doesn't really matter because in that time period, usually you'd be buffing yourself, but if you're using a Pokemon which requires you to debuff it first, then you're definitely gonna wanna wait till after that timer passes. Okay, now, Golden Go and Iron Hands have been farming. They've been able to clear almost every single raid I've came across solo. Keyword, almost. The only issues I've been having is with these two bald-headed fucks and this horror beyond human comprehension. But don't worry. These past two streams, twitch.tv slash nankai by the way, please drop me a I have been crafting certain Pokemon just to deal with these ugly ass po- What even is this thing, dude? First Pokemon, Cerulege, deals with Corviknight and Dragonite like a goddamn charm. Now don't get me wrong, Golden Go and Iron Hands can solo almost any raid. But when it comes to the raids with Pokemon spamming buff moves like Dragon Dance or Hone Claws, th they're lacking a bit. That is where Cerulege comes in. This man gets access to Taunt and Clear Smog, which is already a perfect counter to these bastards. On top of that, he gets a move called Bitter Blade, which is a 90 base power fire type move that sucks health out of a Pokemon like a Dyson Cyclone V10 Absolute. Now the turn order I try and follow is Taunt, bulk up 3 times, Taunt again, and either if I'm feeling greedy, I'll bulk up 3 times again, or I'll Bitter Blade depending on how weak I am. You might need to Bitter Blade before depending on how much damage you've taken, but either way you want to get Taunt off a second time. Now after you've bitch slapped him for 3 turns, the Taunt is going to be out and his Terra Shield's probably going to be up. At this point, you're going to want to start alternating between Bitter Blade and Clear Smog. It doesn't have to be every turn that you alternate, but just make sure you pay attention to how much damage you're taking. The reason I say this is because the Terra Boss can use a different move for each of the Pokemon in the raid, so that means even though it's using an attacking move on you, it could be using a buffing move on the other three Pokemon. Other than that, as long as you keep spamming Bitter Blade, you'll be able to get your Terra off, and if it nullifies you, you could probably just go for bulk ups again and finish the battle. Number 2, Hariyama. The Claude Sire counter. Fuck this Pokemon, he looks like the shit I shat out last night. Now with this Pokemon and this Pokemon only, for some reason, within that timer that Terra bosses usually cleanse themselves, Claude Sire just loves to nullify your boosts. On top of that, he always seems to yawn on the first turn, so you'll probably be asleep anyway. That is where Iron Hand's neglected brother comes in. One of Hariyama's abilities is called Guts. Guts is an ability that increases your attack power as long as you're inflicted by status. That means giving Hariyama a flame orb allows it to be burned in the first turn, dodging the sleep effect from Yawn. Fun fact, when Hariyama sets himself on fire with the burning hatred for his brother, his attack set is actually higher. Now in the first turn, I don't go for Belly Drum, I do go for Focus Energy to pass the timer a little bit so he can nullify, and then after he nullifies, I'll go for the Belly Drum. And after that, it's just a matter of spamming Drain Punch until you can Terra and the battle is as good as won. Number 3, Espathra. What the fuck is this thing supposed to be? A balloon animal? A plushie that an e-girl humped too many times come to life? It doesn't matter. All that matters is that this thing gets access to a move called Lumina Crash. Now Lumina Crash is pretty fucking good. 
It has a base power of 80 and it is psychic type so Espathra does get stabbed from it and it has the same effect as Metal Sound which drops the target's special defense by 2. Now I know what you're thinking, this move's crazy, this move's busted, but it does get balanced out by Espathra's defense stats. Trust me, this thing might as well be a fucking balloon animal with these stats. However, it does have the ability Opportunist. Now Opportunist is pretty basic to explain. Any stat boost that your enemy gets, you also get. Now, the reason this is so busted. Remember how I said a boss can use a separate move for each Pokemon on the field? If it uses a stat boosting move for every single Pokemon in the field, you get that stat boost 4 times. Needless to say, the moveset is a no brainer. If the boss is spamming stat boost moves, I'll usually use Calm Mind and Roost to stay alive until using stored power. Or if I just want to go crazy with this Pokemon, I'll just spam Lumina Crash until I get my Terra. Now keep in mind, with the second strat, you probably will die. This thing is very squishy. But it's okay. You keep your Terra Charge after you die and this thing does so much damage that it probably won't even matter. Now these Pokemon are not as good as Golden Go and Iron Hands, but in the very niche raids where you can't beat them with those two, these three will usually get the job done. But other than that, that's all I really wanted to share with you guys in this video. If you have any questions or you just want to hang out, you can come to my Twitch. I'll probably be live right now. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm out this bitch. Deuces!